welcome to St Wilfrid's Church of England Primary Academy. My name is Mr Colophon and I am the Executive Head Teacher of this outstanding school. I have been here at St Wilfrid's for 16 years, six years as Head Teacher. We are a large school with three classes in each year group. We work very much as a family and work closely together and we enjoy close links with St Wilfrid's Church and our local community. I would like to begin by sharing our vision which is driven by scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Our Christian vision is number one our children will be rooted in strong faith and academic foundations to thrive and succeed knowing that Jesus is with them every step of their journey. Number two our staff will have the highest expectations and aspirations for our children, knowing that together we can achieve anything through Christ. And number three, our school will be a place where children can grow in strength to be unique and flourish in the presence of God. I would like to now share our school mission statement, which is, we will ensure that our children achieve exceptionally well. We will nurture our children to believe in themselves and each other. We will create a culture of love, care and respect for one another. At St Wilfrid's we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Our aims as a school are as follows. Number one, to provide a distinctly Christian ethos underpinned by our Christian values and scripture where children can grow spiritually and become reflective decision makers. Number two, to provide a literacy rich curriculum of the highest quality that engages and challenges all children in our school community. Number three, to provide an environment that excites and stimulates learning, fosters personal growth, and responds to the individual needs of our children. And number four, to provide a rich and broad education with enrichment and extracurricular opportunities and unique experiences that prepare our children socially and mentally for their future. And finally, our values. Our Christian values, which are rooted in scripture, are threaded through our school, our decision making and everything that we do. Our Christian values are hope, peace, kind, trust, courage, fur, forgive, joy and love. Love is at the heart of our Christian values and all members of our school community aim to live out our Christian values in our actions and in our choices. I would like to introduce you to our senior leadership team which includes Deputy Head Teacher Mrs Newman, our Early Years Lead. Hello. Assistant Head Teacher Mrs Kohler, our Key Stage 1 Lead. Hello. Deputy Head Teacher Miss Clayton, our Lower Key Stage 2 Lead. Hello. And finally, Deputy Head Teacher Mrs Prenke, our Upper Key Stage 2 Lead. Hello. Welcome to reception at St Wilfrid's Church of England Primary Academy. My name's Mrs Newman, I'm the Deputy Head Teacher, the SENCO and the Early Years Lead. We've got three classes in reception, RH, Mrs Hortons, RMU, Mrs Mullins, and RMA, Miss Massey's. Mrs Atherton and Mrs Sutton also work as part of our team. We've got a shared area for continuous provision and an outdoor and messy play area where children can build their muscles and learn and play in the outdoors. We look forward to showing you round. Each classroom has a door leading to the outside. Children use this door to go out for playtimes in the mornings and afternoons and it's where parents and carers can drop the children off and collect them at the start and end of each day. If children attend Kids Club, they can be dropped off and collected from the Key Stage 1 hall door. Each classroom has coat hooks where children can hang their coats and somewhere to store water bottles. Everything needs to be clearly labelled. Children also have a tray for their book bag. Book bags need to be flat to fit in the tray. Spare clothes and underwear just need to be in a Ziploc labelled bag. 
If your child doesn't have their own, we always have spares in school, but your child may be more comfortable in their own things. As the children settle in and the class teacher gets to know them, a reading book and tricky word card will be sent home. Initially the books will have a few words, but it's really important that you share the books with your children at home, talking about the pictures and what's happening in the story. Please can you fill in the reading diary three times a week and make sure books are returned on a Wednesday so a new one can be given out. The more fluent your child becomes with a book, the better, and asking them questions about the story will really help their language develop. Developing a routine of reading together should start in reception and continue through school. Sharing stories is a really important part of children's language learning and we encourage families to listen and read to their child regularly. Any medical items that are needed in school are stored in a medical box in the classroom. There's a form to complete from the office and your child's name should be on both on the box and on the item. Children have access to a piece of fruit each day from school but some also choose to bring in a snack of a piece of toast or a piece of fruit from home. If your child wishes to do so, please can you put this snack in their book bag so that it can be easily accessed at break time. We can only allow children to have these items. We ask that children bring in plain water in their own labelled bottle each day. Children have access to these bottles throughout the day so they can have a drink when they need it. Please make sure it's got their name on it and they can recognise it easily. Each classroom has a carpet area with an interactive whiteboard where the children sit with their child teacher to take the register, hear stories and for whole class learning sessions. Children will also do group and independent work at tables. There's lots to do in each classroom with reading areas, craft, role play, maths, writing, computing and construction areas in each classroom. The activities change regularly and can be different in each classroom based on the interests of the children in each class. Each classroom also has a door to our shared area where there is more to do, learn and explore. We have a sandpit, role play, writing area and lots of spaces to develop our speaking, reading and play as we learn to take turns, recognise our own feelings and manage our emotions in mixed groups. Inside the conservatory, Mrs Atherton or Mrs Sutton will help the children to investigate in the water, paint and create using messy play equipment and materials. Hi, I'm Mrs Sutton, um, I work in reception and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September. Hi, I'm Mrs Atherton, can't wait to meet you in September, have a lovely summer. They'll also take the children outside to dig and create in our mud kitchen to climb, balance and play in the outdoor continuous provision area and on the bikes and the scooters. Through the shared area is the hall. The hall is used for sharing worship, lunches and PE. Children can have a hot or cold meal or they can bring sandwiches from home. The children sit in their classes and after lunch they go through the outdoor area into the playground. There is lots of space on the playground to run around and play games. There's a storytelling area, a house to play in, a balance beam, a running track and lots of markings for their own games. On the other side of the hall is our sensory room where children can explore, play and relax in small groups or with their whole class, developing their senses, their language and how they can become calm. Let's go back to the classrooms. Once all of the classes have been finalised, we'll send you a letter telling you which class your child is in. We're really looking forward to your child starting reception at St Wilfrid's and sharing their journey as they learn and grow as part of our school. If your child's in Miss Horton's class, this will be your child's classroom. Let's come in and have a look. We've got the toilets and the sinks to wash your hands. the interactive whiteboard the computers and the pegs to hang your coats and places to put our water bottles and here's Mrs Horton Hello I'm Mrs Horton I hope you all have a lovely summer and I can't wait to meet you all in September if your child's in Mrs Mullen's class, this will be their classroom. Let's come in and have a look. There's the carpet area. 
area with your interactive whiteboard, the role play and investigation area, the coat box so where you'll hang your coat each morning and places for your drinks bottles, and the toilets and sinks to wash your hands. Here's Mrs Mullen waiting at the door. Hello boys and girls, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all. I've got lots of lovely things planned. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time in reception at St Wilfrid's. This is the way that we'll come in in the morning and I'll be here waiting for you on your first day. If you're in Miss Massey's class, this will be your classroom. Let's go in and have a look. We've got our carpet area with our interactive whiteboard. Our computers. Our maths area and role play. Our craft and investigation area. Our pegs for your coats and belongings. And the sinks for washing your hands. Here's Miss Massey, who'll be your class teacher. Hi, I'm Miss Massey. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in September and I hope you have a lovely summer. When you enter my classroom, if you come in through the playground and up the steps, and then I'll be there waiting for you. I very much look forward to working in partnership with you as our parents and carers during your child's primary education here with us at St Wilfrid's. <laughs>